And tonight's topic is obedience and humility. And to my, my right, Elder Aharon Ben Israel, Shalom. To my left, Elder Shadaniah Ben Israel, Shalom. Shalom. So, as we left off in the first segment of our show, we were dealing with obedience. In this segment, we're going to concentrate still with obedience, but we're going to focus a little bit more on humility. And Elder, you had a view that got cut off. I'll let you expound on that this, this segment. Well, turn to Proverbs. Let's, let's do this. Proverbs. Yeah. Chapter 15. I want to go to verse 33. Since we talked about instruction and obedience and mm -hmm. things like that. It says, the fear of Yahweh is instruction, is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. Hmm? Mm -hmm. We've talked about instruction and how obedience is what the Father requires of us. But here's something that's been added. It says, before honor is humility. Mm -hmm. Humility is, the Hebrew word is, anawa. And it means gentleness mm -hmm. or affection. Mm -hmm. To be humble is to be gentle. When a brother comes to you, rah, 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 mm -hmm. you don't greet him with the same rah, 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 mm -hmm. because what happens is strife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that word of kindness, mm -hmm. and that tones down everything mm -hmm. because opposites do what? Quell each other. Mm -hmm. If somebody comes to you with something calm and gentle, you tend to be calm Probably. and gentle. Right. Mm -hmm. <coughs> if someone comes to you with strife, mm -hmm. you tend to be what? Stir it up. Mm -hmm. But we must be humble because that's one of the things that the father requires of us in order to be obedient you must humble yourself mm -hmm. absolutely turn to Jeremiah 13 We as people, we don't know how to be humble. <laughs> oh, we boisterous. Mm -hmm. We gotta make our presence known. Let's read verse 18. Mm -hmm. It says, say to the king and to the queen mother, Humble yourself, sit down, for your rule shall collapse the crown of your glory. Uh, now, before that, if we move backwards, the topic of this says pride precedes captivity. So if you're prideful, mm -hmm. that means that you're not humble. That's right. 
Huh? So what does it say? It says, so to the king and to the queen mother, mm -hmm. humble yourself, sit down, for your rule shall collapse the crown of your glory. Now, that lets me know that they believe in them being the rulers that that was all they needed to do. And it seems like to me here that somebody wasn't humbling himself to the father because the father was bringing some judgment down here for not being humble. So we don't want to be in that position. Absolutely. We want to be in the position of getting the reward at the end. That's what we're working for. That's what matters in the end. Oh no, yeah, it don't no. It's right now. We want that we want that car right now. It's not about right now. You want the end. No, you don't want the end. You you, you want that Mercedes parked outside. Mm -hmm. Turn to <laughs> <laughs> Turn to Daniel. Let's look at a little Daniel here. The fifth chapter. Let's start at verse 13. Then Daniel was brought in before the king. The king spoke and said to Daniel, Are you that Daniel who is one of the captives from Yehuda, whom my father, the king, brought from Yehuda? I have heard of you that the spirit of Elohim is in you and that light and understanding and excellent wisdom are found in you. Now the wise men, the astrologers, have been brought in before me mm -hmm. that they should read this writing and make known to me its interpretation. But they could not give the interpretation of the thing. Now, what was he talking about? He was talking about the handwriting on the wall right. that appeared to him <clears throat> after he had took the father's vessels and party with him. That's right. He's being disobedient. Absolutely. Just I'm serious. I mean, it sounds funny. Mm -hmm. But he was being disobedient to the father. And the handwriting on the wall appeared, and he wanted to know what the handwriting on the wall was, but he really didn't want to know. <laughs> he thought he wanted to he know. Wanted to know. Mm -hmm. yeah. He didn't really want to know. No, he didn't. Um, and he had asked the astrologers like he said, and they couldn't tell him. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. And I have heard of you that you can give interpretations and, and explain enigmas. Now, if you can read the writing and make known to me its interpretation, you shall be clothed with pure, with purple, and have a chain of gold around your neck, and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom. Now listen, that's a powerful thing. Then Daniel answered and said before the king, let your gifts be for yourself huh, and give your reward to another. Yet I will read the writing to the king and make known to him the interpretation. O king, the most high gave Nebuchadnezzar your father a kingdom and majesty and glory and honor, 
And because of the majesty that he gave him, all people, nations, and languages trembled and feared before him. Now, he's explaining to him the circumstances by which his father ruled. Now, remember, if we go back and read about Nebuchadnezzar, mm -hmm. as long as he followed Yah, he was all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. He was being obedient, okay. and he humbled himself. Okay. This man didn't humble himself. Absolutely not. Well, why not? You know, he was the king of the world. That's right. Who, whomever he wished, he executed. Whomever he wished, he kept alive. Whomever he wished, he set up. And whomever he wished, he put down. But when his heart was lifted up and his spirit was hardened in pride, he was di disposed from his kingly throne and they took his glory from him. Now he explaining the story to him. Because he's setting him up for what mm -hmm. he asked him for. Mm -hmm. The interpretation of this hand right <coughs> on the wall. Yeah. Then he was driven from the sons of men. His heart was made like beasts. Mm -hmm. And his dwelling was with the wild donkeys. They fed him grass like oxen. And his body was wet with the dew of heaven. Hashemayim till he knew that the Most High Elohim ruled in the kingdom of men and appointed over it whomever he chose. But you, his son, Belshazzar, have not humbled your heart, although you know all this, and you have lifted yourself up against Yahuwah of Hashemiah. Mm -hmm. They have brought the vessels of the house before you. And you and your lords, your wives, your concubines have drank wines from them. Now, mm -hmm. he done stepped into something. Mm -hmm. He done messed up. Absolutely. He's been totally disobedient. And as they say, he hadn't humbled himself. Mm -hmm. And you have praised the gods of silver and gold, bronze and iron, mm -hmm. wood and stone, which do not see or hear or know. And the God who holds your breath in his hands and owns all your ways, you have not <coughs> glorified. Mm -hmm. Notice this. Aren't they praising the gods of silver and gold mm -hmm. and bronze mm -hmm. and iron mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. and have not humbled themselves mm -hmm. to the glory of the Most High? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Then the finger of the hand mm -hmm. was sent from him, and this writing was written. And this is the inscription that was written. Many, many to kill you pharaohs. This is the interpretation of each word. Many. Elohim has numbered your kingdom. Mm -hmm. Man in trouble. And finished it. To kill. You have been weighed in the balance and found wanting. Mm -hmm. Perez, your kingdom has been divided and given to the Medes and the Persians. Huh? Yep. He didn't want to know that interpretation. Nope. Mm -mm. He wanted to know it, but he didn't want to know it. No, he didn't. Mm -hmm. Then Belshazzar gave the command, and mm -hmm. they clothed Daniel with purple, and put a chain of gold around his neck and made a proclamation concerning him that he should be the third ruler in the kingdom. Uh -huh. Listen to this. Let's continue. Verse 30. 
That very night, Belshazzar, king of the Chaldeans, was slain. And Darius the Mede mm -hmm. received the kingdom, being about 62 years old. Mm -hmm. The man learned a hard lesson by not humble himself and not being obedient uh -huh. to the Father. Mm -hmm. He didn't get a chance mm -hmm. to repent. Mm -hmm. Whereas it, when we read before, yeah. Ahab had a chance to repent. Mm -hmm. yeah. This man didn't. Right. But what he did was more, if you look at it, it didn't seem as much as what Ahab did. Ahab murdered a man. Mm -hmm. This man took the vessels of the father and, and had a party with it. And defiled them. That's what yeah. he did. Absolutely. But you know what else? Mm -hmm. You read something that he did. But he really didn't do. Yeah. And that is, you just read about Belshazzar. Yeah. Who was Nebuchadnezzar's grandson. Yeah. You read that he lifted himself up. Mm-hmm. And that was a mistake. Mm -hmm. So he lifted himself up, mm -hmm. but he really didn't lift himself up right. because Yah did not respect the lifting of himself up. Right. 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 Now, so what he wanted to do <laughs> was to lift himself, himself up. up. Right. But, but there's a way to do that. Yeah. How can we lift ourselves up? Let's go one, one verse right here. Let's go over to James. Mm -hmm. The letter of James Epistle of James in the New Testament, and we'll see how can we accomplish, how can we accomplish what Belshazzar attempted to do? Okay. How can we accomplish that? Let's see how we can do that. Four ten says, mm. it says, humble yourselves mm -hmm. in the sight of Yah. Mm -hmm. Humble yourselves in his presence and he will what? Lift, Lift you, you up. up. Yep. <laughs> you see, it's so simple. That's a simple verse right there. Yep. Humble yourself yep. in the sight of Yah and he will lift you up. Yep. He, Belshazzar, did it the exact that reverse. reverse. Mm -hmm. yeah. He lifted himself up, up and Yah yeah. brought him, him down. down. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's look, another quick one. Let's look at Deuteronomy the eighth chapter. Mm -hmm. And let's look at uh, the second verse. It says. And you shall remember that Yah, your El, led you all the way these 40 years in the wilderness to humble you and to test you to know what was in your heart, mm -hmm. whether you would keep his commandments or not. Mm. To humble you and to test you so that we would see or he would see if you were going to be obedient. Yeah. Now we see the connection here. We see humble and we see actually being obedient here in the same in the same uh, sentence in the same verse. Mm -hmm. So we were humble. Okay. We were humble. We were, Yah brought us out there. We were in the wilderness. To, and Yah wanted to humble us. Mm -hmm. And he wanted us to be humble. But he also wanted to test us to see if we were going to do what we were supposed to do. Right. Now, in retrospect, guess what? We didn't do that. And initially, we did not humble ourselves. 
That's yeah. why uh, many of us didn't make it into the what? To the promised promise land. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we didn't humble ourselves. We took the test, and we failed the test. Yeah. We got the 30. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> of my age. A red <laughs> yeah. so, so the thing is, I mean, there's ways of going about, uh, going about doing the right thing. And, mm -hmm. and if we want to be lifted up, then we have to humble ourselves in the sight of Yah, like Brother James just mm -hmm. said. We have to bring ourselves down. Mm -hmm. It's best for you to bring yourself down than for him to bring you down. Because mm -hmm. you, know, <laughs> you know for yourself that humility, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times you have to humble yourself from a lot of different um, lust of the flesh. Hmm. That's one humbling that you have to consider too. Yeah. The most you, difficult to 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 deal with. Right. Are, are, are sins of the flesh. Right. Sins of the flesh are the most difficult type of sins to deal with. That's right. So go to Galatians. Let's go to Galatians. Mm -hmm. The fifth chapter. The epistle to the Galatians. Five. And let's say 16. Uh -huh. It says, this I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. 17, for the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary and the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led by the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lavishness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, strife, jealousy, wrath, factions, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, rivalings, and the like, of which I tell you before, as I have also told you in the time past, that they who do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of, of Yah. But the fruit of the Spirit is, this is humility, okay? Mm -hmm. This sums up humility. Mm -hmm. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, Meekness, self-control, against such, there is no law. Huh. And they that are Hamashiachs have crucified the flesh with the affections of, and lust. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another, envying one another. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's humility being summed up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what you have to consider when your flesh rises up, mm -hmm. even in pride or any of these other sins against Yah. Mm -hmm. You have to humble yourself and practice what they, what's called right here, the fruits of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, like we were talking about, humility is a huge word. It is. Humility is, and it's and it's 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 something you have to practice daily. Mm -hmm. It's not something that you think about every time you pick up the book. Mm -hmm. This is something you practice on the daily. This is how this is, this is one of the ways in how we worship Yah. That's right. Or sometimes we think of some people think of worship. They think about going to church on Sunday. Right. Now worshiping the Father is the things that you do every day in your life. That's how you worship the Father. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about every day. That's right. So, this is important. And, and like you said, humility is a, is a, is a, is a huge word. Mm -hmm. But, you know, being obedient is a huge word. Yeah, yeah. And it's a it lot, is. it's a lot larger than most of us think that it is. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
You know, it's a lot larger than most of us think that it is. Mm -hmm. Because being obedient, uh, like humility, being so huge a word, we don't see that having faith is being obedient. And having faith is a work. Hmm. Mm -hmm. See, so a lot of times we shortchange that term work. And we think it's not that, not that huge of a word, but it is. Mm -hmm. It's very huge. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, believing is a work. A lot of people might not understand that. Mm -hmm. They might not believe that believing is a work, but it is a work. And if you don't believe it, read John 6, 29. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Turn to Proverbs. Let's, let's go back to Proverbs. Proverbs. Okay. Chapter 16, Proverbs 16, mm -hmm. verse 19. It says, Better to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoils with the proud. Right. Hmm? Uh -huh. that, 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 that's something that we, we can't fathom that. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, you you, you want to be humble with the lowly? But you want to split the you want to split the pot with, with the proud. Mm -hmm. And see, you know, elder, the problem is, the father can't work with you, proud like that. That that hey, <laughs> that's and that's what the it's problem saying. is. He has to break you down mm -hmm. so that he can work with you. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh -huh. And see, depending on what you've done in the mm -hmm. past. Mm -hmm. A lot of times he'll break you down to destroy you. Yeah. See, a lot of times he'll break you down to be, bring you back up. That's right. But a lot of times he'll break you down to destroy you. Mm -hmm. So it's not your call. It's, it's in your best interest to stay with, on, a, on, a, on track, mm -hmm. so to speak. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny you're using that term proud. Mm -hmm. But when you really look at it, I mean, you understand that being proud and being humble opposites. Mm -hmm. hey. And both of them cannot exist in the right. same place at the same time. No. In other words, same place at the same time, I'm talking about being existing in the same man mm -hmm. at the same time. Right. Oh. Both can't. That's right. One got to go. No, no that's why I say let's turn to Proverbs again. Mm -hmm. Let's go to 29. Mm -hmm. 29 chapter. Yeah. 29, okay. And verse 23. 29, 23. Count. It says a man's pride will bring him low, mm -hmm. but the humble in spirit will retain mm -hmm. honor. Mm -hmm. The very same thing and you song. just got through talking That's about. Right. And this That's right. That's right. So the father, he has to, he has to work with you. And it's just like Yahshua uh -huh. on the regular had to deal with the, the scribes and Pharisees and they pride. Pride. That's right. Turn to, turn to Matthew. Let's read uh, uh, a situation. And Yahshua used a parable. Uh -huh. And was, it was warning you against this pride. Uh -huh. Okay? That's Matthew 16. Uh -huh. uh, uh, just say 16 and 1. I'm going to read all of it. Okay? Let's say... The Pharisees with the Sudacees came and testing him, desired that he would show them a sign from Hashemite. Hmm. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and overcast. O ye hypocrites, mm -hmm. 
ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the time? Mm -hmm. A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto, unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonah. And he left them and departed. And when his disciples were come to the other side, they had, for, they had forgotten to take bread. Then Yahshua said unto them, Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sudacees. And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have taken no bread. <laughs> Which when Yahshua perceived, he said unto them, O ye of little faith, why reason ye among yourselves because you have brought no bread? See, they missed the point. Yeah. They, I always say they never understood what Yahshua was bringing to them while they was walking with him. They That's didn't right. understand nothing. And a lot of times he got agitated yeah. and rebuked them yeah. for that reason because they were right there yep. and they had cataract. Yep. You see what I'm saying? It had deafness of the ear. Yeah. And, okay, let's, and so they would always miss that point sometimes. They say, do ye not understand, yet understand, this is nine. Do ye not yet understand, neither remember the five loaves of the 5,000, and how many baskets ye took up, neither the seven loaves of the 4,000, and how many baskets ye took up. How is it that ye do not understand that I spoke not to you concerning bread, but that ye should beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sudacees? Mm -hmm. Then understood they that he bade them not to beware of the leaven of bread, but of the, the doctrine, doctrine of the Pharisees and Sudacees. Yep. That's right. You see, yeah. Yeah. and a lot of a lot of their doctrine. They wouldn't humble these them those those individuals would not humble themselves to even recognize Yahshua. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that they did recognize him, but they yeah, did we, not we wanna Right, yeah. we talked about that before. Yeah. <laughs> we talked about that one before. Okay. They didn't I understand what you I understand what you're saying. Right. To him. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Like it That's says, right. if you right. believe that he was who he was. Huh? Confess with your mouth. They didn't want, hey, they didn't want to do that. That's right. You're right. We talked about that one. You're right, Elder. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Right. So yeah. that was, that's, that was something that, uh, that even today, yeah. that pride will <laughs> block your blessings in terms of understanding. Because how can the father deal with you and you think you already know? Mm. <laughs> now, you know, it's funny you said that. You just said your pride will block yeah. your blessing. Mm -hmm. The father may be wanting to reveal something to you. That's right. But your pride will block that out. Mm -hmm. Now, you know what I thought about when you just said that? Mm -hmm. I thought about. You were just speaking of Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Now, in speaking of Yeshua, we think about the powers that be during Yeshua's day and time. Mm -hmm. And the powers that be during that day and time were the group of people who were ruling at that time mm -hmm. were the Pharisees. The Pharisees were very heavy. Yeah, they were. Heavy in the law, knowing it, mm -hmm. but not doing it. Right. But yet and still, they were also fairly well-educated. Now, Yeshua was a son of a what? Carpenter. Mm -hmm. Now, a carpenter was not a, a glamorous job. Crazy. It was not. Right. <laughs> it, was not, it was not one of your higher esteemed jobs, mm -hmm. okay? Now, when oftentimes when the Pharisees saw Yeshua, they were looking at a carpenter's son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, don't think for one moment that they didn't have a lot of pride. 
when they came in contact with him. Of course. Because, you know, actually being a competent was something that was below them or beneath mm -hmm. them, so to speak, you know. But in, in, in being prideful like that mm -hmm. and not belittling yourself mm -hmm. to humble yourself to the one who you need to be humble, humble too. too. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. It blocked out what? Their yeah, blessings. That's right. Because he was their blessing. That's right. Yeah. And that's what I thought about when you said that. Yeah. Their pride kept them from doing that. That's their right. pride kept them from seeing. It kept them from seeing their blessing. That's why Yahshua spoke on that. Because he knew. Because <laughs> it was foolishness. Exactly. And he knew that 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 was one of the reasons they couldn't see or they wouldn't humble themselves enough to admit that he was Hamashiach. That's right. Exactly. That's what it is. A uh, competent son? Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. think so. That's right. Turn to uh, First Peter. All the more. Sure. The fifth, the fifth chapter. Peter. Yeah. First Peter. First Peter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fifth chapter. Okay. Fifth verse. We start. Listen to what it says. It says, "Likewise, you younger people, <laughs> submit yourselves to your elders." Yes, all of you be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility. Mm -hmm. For Elohim resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. Mm -hmm. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of Elohim that he may exalt you in due time. Mm -hmm. Casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's right. Yeah. 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 Just go there. Yeah. Humble yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of Yah. That's yeah. Right. In the sight of Yah, like yeah. we read before. And what will he do? That he will what, exalt, exalt you. you. Right. In yeah. due time. That's right. That he may what? Lift you, you up, up. Like we read. Right. Lift you up. Exalt you, mm -hmm. cast what? Casting all, all your care, care upon, upon him, him, for he cares for, for you. you. Turn to John. We're gonna read. We're gonna read about a Pharisee here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Turn to John three. John three. Mm -hmm. We're gonna read about a Pharisee. Okay. Yeah. And listen to listen to what Yahshua said. You mentioned White something. We're going to start at verse 1, 3 and 1. 3 and 1, okay. There was a man of the Pharisees mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. named Nicodemus. That's right. A ruler of the Yahudim. Mm -hmm. This man came to Yahshua by night and said to him, mm -hmm. Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from Elohim. Mm -hmm. Stop. Yep. Listen to this, mm -hmm. what they said. He said, we know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that you are a teacher come from Elohim. For no one can do these signs that you do unless Elohim is with him. Mm -hmm. Huh? Now, Elder, when he said we, how, how, how extensive does we go? And those how far, you know, that, I mean, that's a pretty good question. I know we can't really answer that question. Right. How far does we go? We know that because Nicodemus said this, he was one of we. We, right. But how far does that go in the realm of the Pharisees? Hmm. It says we know. Yeah. We know. As if to say, well, more than he. Right. But how many more than he? Well, because Zachiel just read mm -hmm. where they came mm -hmm. to ask him a question. Mm -hmm. So we got to assume mm -hmm. without 
too much leeway that there were quite a number yes right that knew this would lend you right you know, you know push that, you in that direction right. that's right what it says mm -hmm. it says nicodemus mm -hmm. it said there was a man of the pharisees right and then it said a ruler so that means that he had some authority. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Pharisees were the author That's the right. authoritative group. Right. So that means that within his circle, they had to be conversing about That's Yahshua. Right. They, were, they had meeting on Yahshua. That's right. That's right. Because we know that they conspired at many times oh, yeah. to course. kill him. They mm -hmm. were the ones who always approached him. That's right. Yeah. Always. They was after him. Mm -hmm. Huh? Absolutely. Then it says, Yahshua answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Elohim. Mm -hmm. Now listen to Nicodemus' reply. Mm -hmm. He's, Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Mm -hmm. Can he enter a second time? into his mother's womb uh -huh. and be born? Uh -huh. Listen to Yahshua's reply. Uh -huh. Yahshua answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of Elohim. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Uh -huh. Do not marvel that I say to you, you must be born again. Uh -huh. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. Uh -huh. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. Now, Elder, here we go again. Mm -hmm. Here we go again. Born again. How do we how do we define born again in a nutshell? How do we cut the chase and give you the simple fundamentals mm -hmm. of being born again? Purging that old man or old woman in terms of being a slave to the lust of pride or the flesh. And, 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 and bringing in that new being uh -huh. that's acceptable unto Yah. And that's being born obedience. again. What, what was it? Was it oh. Obedience. You know where I'm going now. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. You know where I'm going. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's it in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Born again is what, Elder? To be obedient. Exactly. To the because you have what? Purge mm -hmm. that old what? That's right. The old person. That's right. Yeah. And now you are that new person. That's right. That's right. And now you don't do the things that you used to do. That's mm -hmm. right. Before you became a what? Believer. Believer. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Not doing the things that you what? Used, used to, to do, do is mm -hmm. being what? Obedient. Obedient. That's right. Whether it be prohibitive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Or whether it be performative, you are obedient, obedient. now. That's Before right. you weren't because you were a sinner. That's right. <laughs> first, what's first is first. Mm -hmm. What's second is second. Mm -hmm. First is to become a believer. Second is to repent. Mm -hmm. And that is, that is the essence of being born again is to repent. And to repent is to do what? Turn away mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. sin. That's, That's right. right. And turning away from sin makes you a what? A new creature. creature. That's right. Because That's you don't do. The things you use That's right. to do. The stumbling block is being taken away. So right. here we go again. That's right. That's right. Right back there. Yeah. Obedience. <laughs> so Obedience. You, you got to be humble. You have to humble yourself in order to be born again. Of course. Oh, uh, sure Because you. right here it says. Right. Exactly. It says He's right here correct. in three, Yahshua answered and he said unto them, Verily, I, verily, verily, I say unto you, right. thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yah. Right. Yeah, that's right. How do you humble yourself in order to be born again? So humble, being humble, 
has to come first. Mm -hmm. How do you humble yourself? You humble you yourself by yeah. being a believer. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. right. By understanding understand. that you are to what? Deny yourself. yourself. By understanding, you got to break yourself down right. and look to the Father and understand who the Father is and understand who Yeshua is, yeah. who is the Lamb of Yah. Yeah. And that he came into this world and he died for your sin mm -hmm. and he shed his blood. You have to humble yourself and say, well, that, that's my king right there. Yeah. That's my king. Yeah. I got to, you, you got you you got to break it down. You got to fall down mm -hmm. on your hands and your knees. You got to bow down to that. Mm -hmm. And I must and be then, like exactly. And once you bow down to that, you succumb to that. Mm -hmm. And by succumbing to that, you what? You be humble. Mm -hmm. And then you what? Then you believe. And then when you believe, then you what? Don't do any more or. Be obedient. Be obedient. Mm -hmm. and, I, and you're absolutely correct, because I can tell you're mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. You have to humble, your, to humble yourself is the, is, is the first step in being born again. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got to break yourself down, and you got to deny yourself and accept him, accept him for who he is. That's right. And what he said, who he is. Yeah. And then repent, That's right. which means turn away from right. your sin. That's right. And then you are what? Born, Born again. again. Right. That's the process. Mm -hmm. Being humble. So being humble starts the process of being born again. That's all. That's all it does. Turn to Matthew 18. Hmm. Matthew. And I often wondered, man, uh -huh. if we was walking with Yahshua, would we be just uh -huh. like these guys? Listen to this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eight. Mm -hmm. it? 18. 18. We're going to start at verse 1. Okay. At that time, the disciples came to Yahshua saying, Who then is greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Now notice this. They still dealing with this carnal mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Listen, listen at this. Then Yeshua called the little child to him, set him in the midst of them, and said, Assuredly, I say to you, unless you are converted and become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. We'll stop right there. Mm -hmm. What was he telling him? You got to humble yourself. That's right. Because uh, you're not going no, hey, with that man said y'all got here, y'all is talking about who greatest in the kingdom. That's right. Uh -huh. <laughs> they trying to, they jockeying for position. That's right. <laughs> Seriously. Because uh, remember, you you know, at the uh -huh. so-called last supper, they say, they got the humbugging. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Talking about I'm the one who love you the most. I'm, you know. Yeah. They still in their carnal minds, not understanding humility. That's right. Huh? Listen to this. He said, therefore, whoever humbles himself mm. as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. That's heaven. Whoever receives one little child like this in my name receives me. That's heaven. Because in the place of a child, being in the place of a child, you humble yourself mm -hmm. like to, to your parents. As That's such, right. And you also what? You be obedient to your parents. That's right. Because that's that's what you are to do that's as right. a child. That helps make you a man. Right. The very that helps thing. keeps you safe too. I mean that's if you have a responsible parent. That's it. Those are the kind of things that build you up to be the man you're supposed to be. Or the woman. Hey, all the woman you're supposed to be, mm -hmm. absolutely. That's it. So you have to be like a little child <laughs> in Yah's world. Mm -hmm. That's it. You got to look to him as being like your parent. Mm -hmm. Listen to what he has to say. You know, humble yourself to listen to what he has to say. Well, you know, I think he knows a whole lot more than yeah, I know. I yep. 
And then once you hear what he has to say, then you have to be responsible enough, even as a child, to what? To follow his word. That's right. And to, to hearken. obey his word and hearken. To that's exactly. right. To hearken to his word. That's mm -hmm. it. Being obedient. That's, that's so your you job. Just, you sure hit the nail right on the head. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah. That's Turn, what you got to be. Turn to Galatians. Back to Galatians. And, and, and you can Galatians, huh? right. You can read this. <laughs> and Galatians the sixth chapter. And you can read this and sum it up. Mm -hmm. Six, six and three. Mm -hmm. It's a for if a man think himself to be something, mm. when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. So. For the most part, like we were talking about, Elder, when you try to go and teach whomever, and they are mm -hmm. under that 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 seduction of whatever doctrine, mm -hmm. and they are blinded, mm -hmm. a lot of them not hearing, in a lot of cases, is because of their pride. Mm -hmm. And right. not that's wanting to humble themselves. Yeah, that's what that is. That's what you, that's what it is. To hear. Mm -hmm. For the most part, a lot of times you talk to people, they are under that spell or that spirit of air. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people can't hear you, but a lot of people can hear and don't want to. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, in here in Galatians, that's what this is summing up. Right. When a man exactly. thinks of he's something. Right. Because he's see, really nothing. Right. A lot of times you can stand before a crowd, mm -hmm. and if they as ignorant as the 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 person that's speaking, mm -hmm. they can pump you up yeah. and make you think you yeah. know what you're talking about. <laughs> right. When in <laughs> fact, <laughs> you you bringing more damnation on them and your head. Right. Yeah. Because you're teaching outside of the precepts of Yah mm -hmm. or the concept of Yah. Mm -hmm. and what he gave for man mm -hmm. to obey him by. Mm -hmm. So um, humility is a huge word, mm -hmm. as we spoke about. Mm -hmm. right. And it has so many different facets. Mm -hmm. So we have to examine ourselves mm -hmm. as servants and believers mm -hmm. and on a daily purge that mess. Mm -hmm. That's right. By your spirit. Yeah, yeah make, you have to make a, an assessment mm -hmm. of yourself. Uh, you know, uh, a critical assessment. That's right, a critical assessment. Right. And uh, that, that those two words that have always stuck out in my mind, a critical assessment. Mm -hmm. And a lot, for a lot of people, that's hard to do. You know, in layman's terms, that's simply what? Looking in the mirror. You're right. <laughs> Looking at that man in the mirror, man, man, as what Mike said. said. And that's hard to do. Yeah, sometimes. and that's what he needs to do. Yeah. Look at that man in the mirror. Exactly. And it's hard, it's hard to admit. Yeah. It's hard to admit things, uh, mm -hmm. especially when we have come to the conclusion that we are incorrect mm -hmm. or we are in error. Right. But, you know, that's something that uh, you, Kazaki, will bring out a lot. Mm -hmm. and, and that is you talk about, you know, a spirit of error or a spirit that a person has or a spirit that causes a person, say, not to see mm -hmm. when he should be seen. Right. And that's, and, that, and that's, that's, I equate that with everything. Mm -hmm. Everything that goes wrong, mm -hmm. everything that has ever gone wrong has something to do with a spirit of air. Yes, it does. See, and, 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 and there are, are things that, that are out there to prevent us from seeing the truth. That's right. And it just blocks you. And, it's, and sometimes it's so simple. Mm -hmm. You may have a conversation with an individual and talking to a brother mm -hmm. or sister mm -hmm. about something that's so simple that you see. Right. And you lay it out on the line to them, and it's just so difficult for them to see. Yeah. And they just can't see it. And it's so simple. And you just wonder, how in the world can you not see what I'm telling that's you? That's right. Easy. That's right. Easy. <laughs> the Father has poured out the spirit of deep sleep. They have. And he can't see it right then. But if you understand how the Father's word works, you didn't drop the seed. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And whether he, whether he grasped it right then and there, it took me a while uh -huh. to really 
understand this, mm -hmm. that whether he or not he grasped it mm -hmm. right then and there mm -hmm. is another thing. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. he's going to think about it. Mm -hmm. See, I found that when you present Yah's word mm -hmm. with Yah's name, mm -hmm. it grows. Mm -hmm. It roots up everything that's not Yah within a person. That's right. Uh, now, you know, Elder, now you said something. You said Yah sent that spirit. Yeah. Now, in some cases, Yah does, yeah. depending on what his purpose is. That's right. right. That's right. See? But yeah. by the same token, we know that that same spirit, yeah. that that spirit can be sent by that's someone somebody, else. That's or right. Or is someone, someone else, else. That's right. Preventing See? you and holding you back. Right. But we know that Yah does all things. Yeah. Anything that goes, and a lot of people don't realize is that whatever goes on in this world, Yah does it. Yep. Yah does it. Yah does it. But it's it's but it's simply when we look at it's simply this when we look at the 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 evil one, like they sure called the evil one. Mm -hmm. See, when we look at him, we see that all he is is a servant of Yah. Mm -hmm. He's a servant of Yah. Just like you or myself are servants of Yah. Mm -hmm. But he's the one who's responsible for wheeling evil. That's right. And that serves a purpose. Everything serves a purpose. And the Father gives him so much authority. Here in this day, gives him so much authority to do as he pleases. That's right. Let's, let, let's read something. For his divine purpose. As a whole. Let's turn to Matthew 23. Matthew 23. Yeah. All righty. Matthew 23. We're going to read one verse. Okay. Matthew 23. Right. Verse 12. Mm -hmm. It says, this is Yahshua speaking, and whoever exalts himself will be humbled. And he who humbles himself Should will be, be exalted. exalted. Mm -hmm. huh? Exactly. That's, you know, that's important. And look right above that. Yeah. Uh, verse 11, it says, But he who is greatest among you shall be your, your servant. servant. 